Hey everybody, I curious here. Welcome back to episode 12 of the Iron Woman of Timberwolf Mountain. Ooh, it's a howler out there. It's a real howler in July. In July. No, not really. I know. I got kids, what can I say? Um, ooh, dang, that does look brutal. This looks like a type of weather that would ruin your clothes. But it's so strange. It seems like whenever it looks really bad, it's not too hateful. Honestly, I mean, we do have some excellent clothing. So anyway, um, yeah, we need to head back over there, get that deer at some point. We've got four hours of daylight left. Why not make it tonight? So I think what the priorities here are, uh, we have enough to um, craft our, our uh, deerskin boots. Where's that here? Deerskin boots. Yeah, we have enough there, I do believe. I think we have... Four cured guts, don't we? Let's see here. One, two, three. It looks like four. I think we got four. Two, three, four. Yeah, we got four. Okay, let me drop those again. And then we need two deer skins, which I think we have. There we go. And uh, there's one cured deer hide. Do we have another one? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got a ton of them. So we can go ahead and make those boots. But um, the first priority is going to be to. Uh, get that deer um, skinned and harvested properly. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to be looking for some firewood, some emergency firewood. Uh, we're in okay shape right now. we got a little bit, plus our clothing is keeping us nice and warm in here, but you never know when it's going to be one of those negative 60 degree Fahrenheit days. And uh, those darn door, those darn doors right there, those, uh, those window shutters just won't shut. And uh, I haven't got around to patching up the roof yet. So... Yeah, that could, uh, that could, I don't know if that would cause us to require a fire throughout an entire night or not. Plus, um, another thing is we're going to need to get some, some, uh, water going. So I think what we'll do is we're a little winded, a little hungry. Um, three hours of daylight left. Let's see if we can go grab a little bit of wood real quick. And, uh, yeah, let's see what, let's see what we can get into. Oh, okay, we got some wood right here. Actually, there's a lot of wood right here. Looks like it's replenished itself, so... I'm going to try to tuck in here behind this tree if I can, get a little bit of a windbreak. Good. And if I can reach out and grab this with the windbreak, we're at 28 degrees. That's that's good. So let's do this. All right. Good stuff there. Can I get down here and still get a windbreak? Um, nah, it's 19 degrees. We should be able to harvest it, though. Without getting too cold. Let's take a look here. It's starting to get a little bit cold, but... Alright, let's head on in. Well, if I have to pause the game or something like that, I just haven't been feeling too great today, so... Anyway, I might need to... Uh, go try to make myself feel better. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. Um... But, uh, yeah, so anyway, I did want to get this episode out while I had some good opportunity to record. Um, not sure if I got a bug or something, because our littlest one just, um, my wife has the baby monitor. Whoa, oh, it just disappeared there. My wife has the baby monitor right now. She volunteered to take it for the night. Normally, I have it in the background here, and I'm listening for her for any strange activities or anything that might... Oops, I picked it up. Didn't mean to do that. Anything that might warrant attention. But, uh, just before I was about to record, she comes out and she's like, oh, Maddie, our youngest, just threw up. So, we went in there, changed the sheets and all that. So, I don't know if we got a little bug, maybe start or not, but hopefully not. Alright, so, let's see here. Um, what do you think? I think what we'll do is we'll get some meat cooked up, we'll get some water brewed, we'll use some of this firewood, um, have that ready to go. Do we have any water in here? I can't remember if we have water stashed in here. We do a little bit. <clears throat> there it is, of course. We got lantern fuel. So that's where the lantern fuel is. Okay. You know what? Let's go ahead and fill up our lantern while we have that. Let's do that real quick. Actions. Refuel. Refuel. 
Now I don't know. Oh, we're out of we're out of lantern fuel, so that must not have quite done it. Oh, it's only 24% fuel. Ugh, man, I'd really like to find a nice stash of lantern fuel, but alas, can't always have everything we want. I think uh, five cedars will be fine. Um, yeah, it's not really that cold in here at all. Plus, we got some extra sticks, emergency fire sticks there. Let's just go ahead and. Oh, you know what? Let's do it the the proper way here. I do have a torch that I can use. Let's use one of these matches. All right, now let's um, use the fireplace here. There we go. Let's get this going here. I think another benefit to using a torch like this is you're actually keeping yourself, a, if you were in a cold situation, you're actually keeping yourself warm while you're trying to start your fire. Like, you're getting a little bit of a warmth bonus as you're trying to start your fire. Uh, which could make all the difference if you're worried about contracting hypothermia. So, there's several bonuses to lighting your torch first and then, then making sure you get your fire going. So, it's a great method. I, I love it. It's such a good suggestion. Okay. Not going to use the coal. We're going to keep that for emergencies. Um, let's melt up some snow here. I think we'll just max it out here. Let's try to get at least like... I'd like to get about three gallons of water at the least. Which looks like we should be able to. No problem. We're just going to have a big melting party here. Yeah, starting to get hungry. Well, we're gonna be two six plus what we have. It'll be close. Um, let's throw on another log just to be safe. And of course, we've got the world's large, loudest car pulling away outside, even though it's like one a.m. All right, there we go. Let's boil that up. Maybe we'll have enough. <laughs> I was a bit worried there for a second. Okay, now we're going to cook up some meat. Um, I don't think we're going to need. Let's just add a few sticks. Another good suggestion was, instead of just throwing a torch in here, like add fuel and using the torch, it's like two minutes or something like that at burn time. If you actually break the torch down, it give you one stick, which is eight minutes, so you're actually getting quite a bit more. Um, and I guess when you're really counting minutes and you're desperate, that really does matter. It costs you two minutes to break it down. So, something to remember, at least. Let's, uh, let's get ourselves something to drink here real quick before we go time-lapsing again too much. That is potable water, so we're okay. Alright. We don't have any food on us. I guess we could... I'm not even worried about eating. I'm just gonna. I know that my condition is dropping, but I'm not that worried about it because we're about to eat here, and uh, when we sleep, we'll uh, recover fully. So there's no real. Let's try to do four pieces. I don't think we have enough time. For, well, we maybe maybe we do. I think maybe we can. Let's do this. It should be 20 minutes each, so I think we'll have about four minutes left when it's all said and done. Unless one of those was a partial. I didn't notice. I think they were all whole pieces of meat. I think I went nuts on the partial pieces when I did my little uh, wolf tartare mega food poisoning uh, episode. It's like a food poisoning marathon. Uh, yeah, we're going to be a little short. Let's throw in a couple more sticks. Two, three. Oh, that'll be close. Let's try it. Let's try it. We should be able to cook on the embers. So, I forgot about the embers. We're going to be down to Embers, or... Nope, one minute left. Alright, here we go. And we're at 97 health. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and eat what we got. Are they all full pieces of meat? Yes, they are. Okay, good. And now you can see the wolf condition. It was at like 55. One of them was 55, and the others was were a little bit higher. But they should all be about 100% now, so... No risk of food poisoning. As far as I know, I don't think you can get food poisoned from 100%. Anybody know anything different, by all means, let me know. But that should max us out pretty much with our... I'm going to save that. I'm not going to eat that. Because the thing is, 
if I eat it, I, I roll. Actually, I don't need to worry about rolling for food poisoning 100%. Typically, if you don't have 100%, let's say you didn't have 100% of a, of a meat item. It was like 60%, 50%, 40%, whatever. If you eat part of it, you roll for food poisoning once. Then you have that partial piece of meat left over. So when you come back in later on, like the day, the next day or whatever, and you eat that remaining piece of meat, you actually, the game will roll again to see if you're going to get food poisoned again. So you expose yourself twice. The odds are the same, but you expose yourself to those odds twice. So that's something that was left in the comments, and it makes complete sense when you think about it from sort of a logical standpoint. So, yeah. I love you guys. You guys leave me some really good comments. All right, so let's see here. Um, I can go ahead and eat that meat, like I said, because 100% I'm not really exposing myself to the food poisoning at all. So the the general rule doesn't apply here. And plus, I'll probably actually eat that uh, if I can stumble my way to the bed. I'll probably eat that in the morning, anyhow. So no big deal. I'll get rid of it before it even. It'll probably be 98. 99% something like that If I had to guess four hours of darkness left. Well, we were productive all night Let's just uh, let's who are we at? We're drained. Let's just sleep for eight might as well, right? It'll be a little bit warmer. Hopefully we'll, we'll sleep in a little tomorrow There we go 97 99 we're back to 100. Oh Weather doesn't look so good. Oh, there we go. We got a break in the break in the weather. Don't know how long it's probably the eye of a freaking hurricane or something. All right, I'm getting thirsty here. Let's see how we're doing. A bit overloaded. Uh, looking pretty good. Oh yeah, we can definitely eat that last piece of meat. See, it's at ninety-nine percent, so I'm pretty confident I'm not going to get food poisoned from that. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty good rule. Okay, um, what are we carrying around? It's so f absolutely he heavy. Let's see here. Oh, it's all that water. That's what it is. Water be heavy. All right, I'm just going to drop it here because it's easy to see. Uh, drop. Drop about two gallons since we're not going to be really running around that far. Uh, another thing I'd like to do is I'd like to try to find some more birch uh, saplings to get those curing. Uh, maybe do a little bit more exploring around some of the containers that are maybe down in this area that I maybe have missed. And I think there's supposed to be a dead body with a rifle somewhere. I think I, I vaguely remember someone leaving that in the comments or something. So there's a possibility of finding a rifle actually down here in this level of the uh, of the map. So let's take a peek outside. It's not bad inside at all. We're in really good condition. As you can see, pretty much maxed out with calories for the most part. We're warm. We're full. We're in good shape. No afflictions. Well, how many days have we survived? 13 days, 23 hours. All right, so we're almost at the 14-day mark. So, 9 degrees. Ugh. Well, you know what? Let's just head on out here. Let's get this uh, Let's get this deer while we can. Let's see where our neighborhood bear is at. I don't see him out today. Oh, well. Let's take a look at our clothing. I just want to see if we're going to be taking damage. 97% on the uh, premium winter coat. We'll use that as the uh, as the condition that we're going to use to gauge to see if we're taking damage from this type of wind. I don't think so. I don't think this really qualifies as a blizzard. This qualifies as... Yeah, this weather sucks, but I don't think it actually reaches the technical level of a blizzard. So we're... Sort of there. Okay, let's go ahead and try to hatch it. I think hatch it's the best in this particular case. Wow, that's a lot of meat. Is it hatch it? Oh yeah, hatch it's way better. We're gonna hack this puppy up. All right, we're starting to get cold. If we put a fire out here, we're just gonna freeze. Um, so what I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pull the hide off. Honestly, it'll be a uh, 30 minutes or four or five. If hide is better with the. Uh, hunting knife even when frozen so we're gonna do that I'm gonna grab that so we can at least get it curing we have plenty of deer hides but hey we'll take another one yeah let's uh, well what's the temperature right now 24 degrees oh we can stay out here a bit longer plus I think we could I just want to make sure I'm not coming kind of flanked by a wolf I think he's gonna be dead for the next couple days so should be relatively safe around this neighborhood uh, I don't want to stay out that long I don't think hold on 
Let's just do the uh, guts. 20 minutes. And the knife should definitely be better. Yeah. Still. But we'll get these curing. We'll warm up a little bit. Come back out. Hopefully, the temps are still still reasonable. Let's take a look here. Yeah. Hell, if we if I would have known it would have the weather would have become this nice, I would have just waited. Oh, 97% on the coat. Let's see what happened to it. Yeah, still 97%. So we weren't taking any damage. That's good. That's about, I wonder what my weight's at now. 54. That's much better. Much better. It's still a little heavy. I'd like to be down in around the upper 40s. Still no bear there. I love the sound effects that are dependent upon what you're carrying. I th it sounds like I'm carrying a piece of wood around with me because I hear that sort of like that hollow thunk noise, like knocking on wood. I wonder if I am. It sounds like it. Okay, there we go. So, this is my guts that need cured. Let's drop these here. Am I carrying around wood? I think I am. Maybe it's, well, maybe it's that and the tinder plugs. I don't know. I thought I was carrying an actual piece of wood. I'm going to put that metal in the, uh, put that metal up there in the, uh, workbench. There we go. We'll get that going. Those are all cured. Oops. Put that back. That's almost cured. Those two are about to go over to the cured pile. They change a little bit in color, as you can see. These are a little brighter. These are a little more dulled. So, okay. That, it's kind of actually difficult to get to the workbench there. No, I want to get to my drawer. It's kind of tough to do when... Oh, there it is. It's kind of tough to do when you have that wolf pelt underneath. I think that should actually be corrected. That doesn't seem right. It's sort of like... It's almost pretending the drawer isn't there. Um, what, what the heck am I carrying here? Fresh deer. Oh, that's a deer hide I just grabbed. All right, so we'll add that to the pile. We've got plenty of room in here now. Um, what else can we throw in here? Anything? Uh, I thought it was a shotgun shell. I'm like, dude, we got shotguns? Wow, that was a really awesome hotfix, but no, that's the flare, which I have yet to use. I don't plan on being in distress with a, with a bear. I plan on putting the, the bear into distress. So, that's the plan anyway. Basic wool scarf. I guess we can go ahead and heal that thing up. You know what I mean? Let's go ahead and do that. Makes a good. It'll help us uh, warm up anyway, since we are kind of cold. It'll be a good way to kill a little bit of time here. Just do a little bit of crafting here, real quick. 28 minutes, chance of success 87%. This should heal it up fully. So we have 100% scarf. Get her done. I'm about three years too late on that one. Four years, maybe. Maybe even five years. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So let's see what our... Yeah, it's at 100%. That's that's a lot better. Anything else? Uh, probably heal that up. That wouldn't be too bad to do. I don't think we, we can't, can't really craft a hat. So I kinda, I don't really, really want to put a lot of materials into uh, things that we're about ready to craft. We're just waiting on a curing process. So I think we'll do that. We'll actually craft... If I can get, find my drawer again. They borrow one of them cloths there. I got ten. I also have ten cloths sitting right here. Or actually, which bedroll is the better one? That's a 47. What's my one at right now that I'm carrying? I think I switched them out. 67. Yeah, that's my ten cloths sitting right there. Alright, so let's see. go ahead and repair our toque. Actions, repair. Make it so. There we go. It should be nice and warm now. There we go. Alright. And now we have a little bit better clothing. Let's peek outside, see what the temps are like. I get a little worried when I don't see any snow at all. It's just clear. These seem to be some of the most frigid days. But actually, it's 33 degrees. We're going to go to town on this deer. This deer, oh, there's not going to be anything left but bones. These poor birds, they're not going to have anything to eat. Double check here. Yeah, still 33 out here in the middle of the lake. Gotta love that. This would actually be some really good uh, wood chopping weather too. We might 
might have to take advantage of that. I do want to just grab the deer before it despawns. I, I know we have plenty of time to do that, but I don't know what it is. It, I don't know if, whether it was my graphics card update or what, but I'm getting this little light issue here occasionally. I don't know if it's the hot fix that has changed it or the recent uh, NVIDIA graphic card update. Not not a huge deal. Like frame rates are still good and everything. Just uh, something that occasionally happens. I don't get too worried about that sort of stuff. I know a lot of people that would just like they go on a rant and just go on for hours and hours. And uh, nope. Oh well. Not that stressed about it. Okay, let's take a do a quick 360 scan. Make sure we're not being flanked. Okay, looks good. We are over encumbered now, obviously. Well, that was a pretty pretty good use of one bullet, right there. Pretty happy with the results there. Now. Uh, I kind of was, you know how I was hesitating, like I really wanted to go and shoot that bear and all that. I think that's good that, you know, we, to, to get the bear, but at this point with the amount of meat that we have, I don't think it makes makes much, much sense because we're going to end up losing a lot of that meat if we take the bear down and we end up with like 50 plus pounds of meat. Um, and honestly, while having a bear roll, uh, bear bed roll would be nice, with our clothing and the way it is, um, and the way we're geared up here, it's not a necessity. We're going to have even better clothing here in not too long. Um, so I think what we do is we wait on the bear, and that way we're, we're for sure not going to waste any meat. I think that's the best use of that bullet. Assuming I, assuming it only takes one bullet. Oh, hold on one second. What am I doing? Alright, here we go. Let's throw this in here. I am going the right direction with it this time. Yes, okay. Back down to 53 pounds. That's that's doable. 97 on the winter, winter coat still. A um, little bit winded. A little bit third. Let's get something to drink. We're going to go out and try to chop a little bit more wood. This has just been a basic maintenance episode. We, we had some messes around the neighborhood we needed to clean up. And here we are. Luckily, we've been pretty good with the weather. 30 degrees out here. I'm, I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah, 31. Yeah. We can chop wood all day long with this. Alright, we'll just go and pick up sticks too. Might as well. They're free. Is that going to be part of the branch? It is part of the branch. I wasn't sure if that one was going to be a individual stick or not. There's one up there. I'll get that a little bit later. A couple. There's a few over there. Okay. 29. Well, this fur limb, that's going to be good. All right. What are we at now that we're protected? 34. All right, good deal. Break that down, baby. Remember day one, how tough it was out here? This is, uh, we're doing much better now. We're sort of thriving at this point, if you ask me. Ah, here, I think we can get protected here, possibly. I if I can get this tree right. Can I get behind the tree? Where do I have to go? Looking for it. Come on if I get down. Does it matter? Nah, it's going to be 26. That's okay. We'll be a little bit cold, but not too bad. There we go. Alright, let's see if we can get another one. Oh, here's another one. How's our axe doing? I don't want to ruin that bad boy again. How are we doing? Oh, 63% on the axe. Good. I guess uh, under 20% you start running into, into a risk of it breaking. Hey, rabbit. Like a catastrophic failure where, where we'll ruin it. All right, good stuff. Starting to get hungry. And we're not even really that chilled or that winded, so I say we just keep going. We are um, a little over encumbered, but that's okay. I, I, I do want to kind of grab as much of this wood as we can while we got this decent weather um, also if I can grab this wood before the next big storm comes in it'll be hopefully it gets replaced 
when it blows down more branches. So there we go. All right. I think we're good. I could probably go again. You know what? I think I will. I'm kind of worried about... Well, we're just over that hill. And we do have a rifle. I'm worried about wolves a little bit. Because they do come out at night. But I think we'll go for one more. Where are we at with weight? 76. It's really not that hateful. Let's get one more. Okay, let's head on in. Okay, there we go. Ready to go home and eat some food. Cook up a little bit of food. And uh, call it a night. Let's just have it ready. You never know. Let's go ahead and load it up here. What's our temperatures at now? 15? Yeah, it is starting to get a little bit cold. It's about all the fat. No, I can actually move a little faster. We'll do it. We'll move faster. All right. Pretty, a pretty good episode, I'd say. I'd say that was a very successful episode. We got a lot of water. We got a lot of meat. Got a lot of wood. Um, things are looking up here, that's for sure. Uh, so where, where do we want to put this wood? I guess we'll just put it right here by the fire. We'll just put it right in front of the fire. I'll probably end up moving that sleeping bag somewhere else. But all the way, I'm running out of space in this, this little place. We got nine fir woods, six cedar woods, four sticks and two coal. So yeah, we're in pretty good shape. Let's drop all those. Drop all those. Um, oh yeah, I need to drop that hide too. So let's get our fire going first before we do anything else. Where are we at now? We're okay with temperature in here, 44 degrees. Yeah, we're not in any huge hurry. But we do want to definitely get something to eat in us because we are starting to get a little bit peckish. Let's go by condition. Okay, let's get this. That's the venison as it was sitting out there. So start cooking that. That should go back up to 100%, no problem. So I think what I'll do is I'll cook up about... Uh, we'll cook up about six of those puppies. So that should be about two hours worth of food there. And then I'll try to cook up a little bit more water also. Real quick here. Um, let's grab a cedar wood and a couple furs. Oh, that was a cedar. There we go. Should be plenty for what our purpose is here. So, I probably won't use this much wood actually. Let's get a drink real quick before we start time lapsing. Since we're not, definitely not hurting with water. There we go. And how are we doing everything else? We're warming up nicely. We're okay with tire. We're getting hungry. We're about to take care of that. Down to 200 calories. Yeah, not too bad. Alright, so let's not do it that way. Let's do it the right way. Let's do it the smart way. And we'll use a match because Fire Striker is better than a match. I think we're using the... I don't know if we're using wood matches or if we're using... Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Let's figure this out. We we got 11 cardboard matches. I hope they're using cardboard matches. How many wood matches? we got 7 wood I think we're using wood matches, honestly. Let's see. 11 and 7. 11. Okay. So we'll see which one it uses. All right. Let's take a look. Let's get this started first before we do anything else. Cedar wood, bam. Five more fires and it's going to be a non-issue, really. I'll be guaranteed to... I'll be guaranteed to get it started every time. There we go. All right, so let's extinguish that. Let's uh, holster that flare. Let's throw a couple. Uh, I didn't want to grab that extra cedar wood. I'm gonna save that one. There we go. It's about four hours here. Let's see what our 
match situation. Yeah, it used the it used the wood match. I would prefer. Uh, it would be nice if you could designate which one you want to use for starting uh, torches, and things like that. I guess I could just drop them real briefly and then pick them back up, but you know me, I'd end up forgetting about it. Besides, we're at the point where it's almost it's going to be a moot point. When it comes to the fire skill, we're going to be maxed out almost, I don't know, in the next ten fires. Alright, so I'm going to cook these two, then I'll just go ahead and eat what I got real quick. Let's just eat real quick here. Well, we got the chance, 100% on both of these. That's a partial. We'll eat that one. And another full one. Venison, mmm, extra 100 calories. Alright, there we go. Let's cook this stuff up here. Working through the night again. Pulling the late shift. Good stuff. Let's cook up a little bit of water. Right? It's pretty much what we can do with the rest of it. I guess we could cook up a few more steaks. Let's do that. We got plenty of water. Let's cook up a few more steaks. Let's try to do three if we can. We should be able. No problem with three. No problem. We could probably actually do a couple more. It should pretty much max these steaks out. I think they're going to be around 95 each. So 95 condition. So they're, they're in really good condition. And those are the sketchiest steaks that we have at the moment. So, we'll use them. While we craft things and, and like, make, especially the, the wolf coat. We're going to be doing a lot of time lapse and it'll, it'll make us hungry too. I think you do use quite a few calories when you're, um, when you're actually, uh, crafting. So, we'll going to take that. We'll have that whole deer coat cooked up, actually. Alright. Three more. Uh, we're not gonna be able to cook all those. We'll just we'll do what we can. I think we can get one more. It's getting a little. I was getting a little over ambitious when I grabbed the two wolf steaks. But yeah, there we go. Alrighty. Well, that's pretty much it. Um, let's go ahead and throw some of those cooked ones back in here. Oh, they're at 100%. I thought it went up 50% condition. I thought cooking it, the act of cooking it kicked it up 50% from whatever its base was but apparently not, apparently it's a little bit higher so I eat that partial let's go ahead and let's throw these back three of those should be good I think I'm actually not going to be able to eat all three no I won't be able to I'll just be able to get maybe yeah 100% condition so I'm not worried about the double roll on the food poisoning Plus, they're in such high condition, I wouldn't be worried about it anyway. Okay, there we go. Let's try to grab a couple of waters here for the night. Uh, what are we at? 59 pounds, but that's just because of fatigue. That's the only reason why we're overweight right now. Got a little more than half a gallon. Um, oh yeah, let's get that. Let's get that. Uh, that that's gonna be. It's not gonna be looking the best, but I want to drop that deer skin so it starts curing. I should have. I should have been doing that while I was cooking, actually. Wasted a little bit of time there. And uh, we can drop one of those fir woods right there in the cedar. Lighten our load here. What are we down to now? 55 pounds. That's not too bad. We're getting close to that. I'd like to be in the upper 40s. That would be my goal. At least until I get the... Uh, what's my air temp going to be? Windchill zero, of course, because we're inside. I wonder what it's going to drop to. 35, okay. How cold is it outside? I'm just wondering how cold it is outside for it to be 35 in here. It's got to be pretty frigid. Wind chill. Air temp is negative 8. Though when we get into that bed, we're going to be alright. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sleep in smaller increments this time. Um, that way, if we do start getting chilled, chilled we're aware of it. But uh, I guess we'll go ahead and end the episode here. We'll get a 9, nine degree warmth bonus from the bed anyway, so that helps out too. A little bit of an extra insurance policy for us. Ah, uh, yeah, let's get a drink. 
That's how I first died. In my, I think it was my first series. I died because I dehydrated in my sleep. Uh, yep, I wasn't expecting that. All right, so we're tired. Condition's 100%, though, so six hours of daylight left. So let's just go ahead and sleep for, I don't know, let's just do three hours. All right, there we go. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I think we got a lot accomplished as far as getting ready to start doing some crafting in episode number 13. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that tip jar, or head on over to patreon.com forward slash accurate 2 if you'd like to be listed as a producer in my videos. All the details will be, be over there. So thank you for watching, and uh, y'all take care. Hope y'all are staying warm and safe wherever this uh, this video might be seeing, seeing yet. So, um, yeah, I'll see you in episode 13. Bye now.